the influence that this program has had in science in this country, and therefore science all over the world, it's tremendously humbling. 577 fellowships to support young people at the beginning, critical time of their careers. Now Dave said over and over again that the way to get something done was to uh, find good people, give them some resources, and then get out of the way and let them get on with it. So that's what we've tried to do with the fellowship program. I think the Packer Fellowship is a model for what all other types of foundations can be doing. The Packard Fellowship is a really special and interesting thing. It catches people at the early parts of their career and you give them the freedom to be able to follow their nose. Really, the investment at the beginning stages allows a different type of science to come out. You incorporate crazy ideas. You start thinking about big things that you might never have done earlier. The Packard Fellows, you look around the room, the minds in here. When we get together, it spawns ideas. I grow as a scientist from it. So the best part of the Packard meeting is that there's a diversity of science and a diversity of ages within science. And so you're able to meet people in your field who have been in it for a short period of time, a long period of time, and hear both about the history of what's happened and what's happening next. We live in a world which is facing many problems. And what we need is we need science to guide decisions. Science is a major ingredient of life. Science means to understand the world around us. The Packard Fellowship has allowed me to pursue problems without worrying at all about whether they're gonna succeed, whether they're gonna work out, or what is anybody gonna think about it. I just do it because it's interesting. And having that intellectual freedom is absolutely crucial to making progress.